What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Mass360 YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by and checking this out. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified on a weekly basis when we post new content on this channel. We have a super important video today. So Microsoft is, depre uh, is it depreciating is the right word, Jason? Yeah, depreciating. Microsoft is depreciating basic authentication and enforcing modern authentication. And because of that, there are some changes that we need to make within the Mass360 portal. So I'm hop happy to have Jason on today's video to hop in here and share on his screen and walk through those changes that you need to make to make this happen within your Mass360 portal. So Jason, thank you so much for hopping on as always. We appreciate it. Yeah, anytime, Matt. Glad to help out. Let me go ahead and share out my screen here. Uh, let me know when you can see that. Or I can, can see the portal. Perfect. All right. So, you know, as you mentioned, Microsoft is depreciating uh, basic authentication on all tenants and moving to modern authentication, uh, which is more secure. And as a result of that, there's some changes that uh, will be ne needed to be made in policy in Mass360 for workplace, Android, iOS, depending on what you have out there, and then also cloud extender, uh, depending on how you have that set up as well. Um, but yeah, what I was going to do is kind of show from the main portal page here, if uh, you click on what's new, Perfect. and there's we have some information about that depreciation right here, and if you click the link, there's a very helpful document which will outline everything that I'm about to cover in very good detail with screenshots and everything. So we do have good documentation about this. You know, if anybody needs to refer back to what we talked about uh, in a document. Awesome. And yeah, I'll just kind of go down through kind of how they have this set up and look at that within my test portal and my cloud extender server. And Jay, so is this first, impacting the majority of our clients? It would impact, good question, Matt. So it would impact anybody using um, Exchange Online, um, Office 365. Okay. Uh, if, you, yeah, if you use on-prem Exchange or any other type of email, this would not affect you, but this would be you know, Exchange Online or Office 365 is where these changes are gonna take place. Got it. Okay, good question. Um, so yeah, going down through, so we talked about kind of how you can tell if basic or modern authentication is set up in the environment. Um, if you go to authenticate email and you see this device specific prompt, then that's basic authentication. If you get redirected, uh, like in this case, it's being redirected to Microsoft to authenticate, then that would be modern authentication. That's the easiest way to tell if it's already kind of set up that way. Got it. I've seen that yeah. on my phone. Yep, yep 100%. So as far as the changes that would need to be made once modern authentication is set up within uh, the environment, you would need to come into your uh, policies and make some changes there. And I'll start there, just kind of going down through, you know, the order that they have it, Android, iOS, and workplace persona. Awesome. Great. So within your Android policy, you come in. Go into your Active Sync section where you would have it configured. Modify the policy and go to down authentication type. Authentication mode, sorry. Uh, from basic, you want to change it to modern, right? Yep. Okay. And that would make change for the uh, the active sync policy for Android. So you Got it. And save publish that. Well, that's easy. And then, yeah, it's very easy. It's very easy from the policy standpoint. Not as much for Cloud Extender, but we'll get into that. Okay. Yeah. For it's always Iowa, something. It's always something. Yeah. It can never be 100% easy. We try to make it easy as possible, but we have uh, 
limitations that we're working around when it comes to other vendors, unfortunately. So for iOS, same similar type of thing there where you come in, you go into the active sync section of the policy. Don't have that one configured, but you know, you would have all your email settings configured and the only change you would need to make is checking enable OAuth and that's it. You would leave the sign in URL and token request URL blank. And that would be it. You'd again, just save and publish the policy and be good to go from an iOS policy perspective. And then lastly, and probably the most uh, advanced here, the most steps involved would be the workplace persona policy. As you would have to actually define the Mass 360 apps within uh, the Azure tenant to set this up to work properly. So the first step you would take is in your email setup for your workplace persona policy, you would go ahead and enable SSO. Okay. Which is basically the setup for modern authentication. And then you would um, register the Mass360 apps within Azure. There's a link right here on how to do that. It's a very involved process. Um, Kind of let you know what you have to do there. Okay. All right. Basically, uh, I'll just look at my Azure tenant real quick to show you where it is. So you would define the Mass360 apps in Azure under app registrations. Um, it's more tedious than anything. It's not super involved, but it is kind of tedious in that there's a lot of information regarding the Mass360 apps that you would plug in there for this to work properly. And then finally, when you get all that done, uh, you get a client ID and you would plug that in uh, on the Mass 360 uh, side right here and save and publish the policy. And then from that point, uh, secure mail would be good to go with regard to modern authentication. Awesome. All right. Um, so that's pretty much it for the policy. Uh, one thing that comes up frequently when it comes to modern authentication is confusion with multi-factor authentication. So multi-factor authentication would be modern authentication, but modern authentication isn't necessarily multi-factor. It would depend on how the tenant's set up, you know, if it's set up to get authentication from a different um, provider or anything like that, you know, that would be kind of on the tenant side, but, um, you know, it would all depend on the setup. Um, just want to throw that out there as it's a question that comes up a lot and it's confused a lot as far as, you know, multi-factor versus modern authentication. All right. And then from one more perspective, um, from an app's perspective, if you're leveraging the Outlook application for iOS or Android, there's a quick change you have to make in there as well for modern authentication instead of basic. Uh, so you would go into your apps catalog. And then for each individual app you may be using, uh, I have an iOS one here, I'll go into that. Right. And if you're pushing out a configuration through Mass360, it would be located towards the bottom of that app distribution. So you would already have one in there potentially. Um, I don't have one in there yet. So I'll just kind of go into creating a configuration to show what okay. you would do. So you would have your configurations in here. Um, you would just change this here. And this is for the iOS uh, Outlook application here. It's a little bit different for Android, but you would change the account type from basic authentication to modern authentication. And that's it. Easy, easy. easy. Super easy. Yep, that's it for iOS. All right, perfect. And then for the Android app, um, again, you would go into the Outlook application towards the bottom where you have your configurations, you would have your configuration there. Uh, and then within that Android Outlook app configuration, um, account type will be modern auth. And then you would save that and that would be pretty much it. Perfect. Right, so that's pretty much the portal side of things there. When it okay. comes to the cloud extender, 
there's some stuff in that document there towards the bottom. So it basically talks about what we just did in kind of getting this set up in the policies. All the steps are right here. You need to refer back to it. And then towards the bottom, it talks about the cloud extender side of things there. There we go. Cloud extender. Yep. So your Active Sync uh, integration module. This module is where you can see, you know, Active Sync partnerships in Office 365 today. You can leverage auto quarantine and block wipe devices through NAS 360, leveraging that integration with Office 365. Um, so that's the, that set up. And then the email notification would be if you're leveraging secure mail with iOS devices that can't natively provide a email notification, uh, you would have to have this email notification cloud extender module set up in order to have those real-time email notifications for a secure mail within the MAS360 app. Gotcha. So I have those uh, set up on my test server here, the cloud extender. And uh, basically what I had to do to enable the modern authentication part of that is go into the module. So here's the exchange integration module here. And a lot of this would be already set up. So you would already have this set up accordingly for Office 365. And then you have your user, um, you have service accounts in there. Everything should already be in there. And it should have the correct permissions already. So that should be working. Um, once you have modern authentication set up in the environment for the admin, you would click here to kind of go through this uh, setup steps there. Okay. And it kind of has some steps that you would need to do. So you could either install the PowerShell uh, Exchange Online Management PowerShell here, or if you already have it on the server, uh, you can update it as well. Now for me, I didn't have it yet, so I had to do um this one here and i installed it let's see if i can update it though and how long did that similar. take jack it took uh like two minutes one one to two oh. minutes very quick very mm -hmm. quick yeah i just went in here went to powershell i did a run as administrator okay So any of these commands that you do in PowerShell usually prompts you to, you know, make sure that you know what you're doing. So you'll have to hit yes a couple times. So the update was was quicker there. Um, the actual wow, install a took a few minutes to work, but yeah, it was it was pretty much just as easy as that. I just had to hit yes a couple times. Okay. And then once that's done, yeah, once that's done, that's pretty much it for the exchange integration module. Um, you then just validate the account. I'll redo it here. Should go through. It went through earlier. It just validates. It might take a few minutes to validate. And then that is good to go. And it's typical for this to take one to two minutes here, possibly. I'll click the fast forward button when I'm adding it, Jay. Yeah. Good call. What do you got going on this weekend? Uh, nothing. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, nothing. It's, it's How about you? I got a lot going on, but fun stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Hanging out with some friends in Philly, so it should be fun. Yeah, that is cool. That sounds all right. All right to me. Okay.
So the uh, look at finished up. Yeah, not too bad. And you would hit next and save there. All right, and then you would do this a similar um, a similar function for the email notifications. A little bit different, but it's similar. So you come in, and again, a lot of this is already set up. So Office 365 already set up. You change this box here from basic to modern authentication. Okay. And then when you do that, um, you would get the tenant ID from Azure. So you come over here, app registrations, S360 CE. And then you get the information from here. So I got the tenant ID and the client ID from right here in my Azure tenant. I just plugged it in there. It in, yeah. Now, as far as the steps I took in Azure, uh, the best place to get those is actually right here. So under this email notification module, there's some steps right here in video. There's actually embedded videos in this link that walk you through what I did in Azure. Sweet. To, de to define that app in Azure. But again, that just took like one to two minutes right there. So it was super easy. Uh, plug in the information. Next. Um, yeah, it, you know, service account in there it should be already configured and correct permissions, correct password, everything like that. And just Hit save. And that's it. So that there in a go. nutshell. Yeah, that in a nutshell is all the changes you need to make to be Mass 360 ready for basic to modern authentication uh, when the basic gets depreciated on October 1st. Awesome stuff, Jason. Can't thank you enough for putting everything together here to to do this video. I know we're going to blast this out to our entire customer base next week, and the customer success folks are going to be super happy. I know a few of them have been asking for this video, so thank you for organizing all this and, and putting this together for us. No problem at all. Awesome, guys. If you have any questions regarding this, let us know. Like the video. Subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when Jason and I hop in here and post new videos. And let us know in the comment section what questions you have regarding Mass360. And we will make videos answering those questions. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.